Good late afternoon, early evening, 4.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Wednesday, August 31st, 2022, on the East Coast. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and this update's going to have a few things in it. First, make sure to hit that like button, turn that bell notification to all, and subscribe to the channel if you want to help me get to 15,000. We're almost to 13,400 in just about 17, we just went over 17 months, I believe yesterday or the day before. We're going to do an update today, not just on XRP. We're not just going to look at DXY, but I also have to go over the gold-silver ratio, which is up over 95 to 1, which is unbelievable, which means I'm going to be in the market to buy a little bit of silver, probably about 500 bucks worth here this week, maybe today. Um, as I usually do a daily purchase, I just bought my house a couple weeks ago, so I'm not going to do a $1,000 purchase, but I might do a 500 um, so, and it would be preempting when I normally would buy. I already bought once in August. I don't usually buy twice, but seeing it's 95 to 1, I might put an extra 500 bucks this month instead of just a normal $1,000. Um, I bought when it was 92 and a half to 1, 25 ounces of silver, approximately. Maybe it was 30. I can't remember. Um... So actually, that would put me to about 1200 for the month because I had to buy a little less because I bought the house. Um, so we're going to go over that. We're also going to go over XRP. And we're going to go over the setup that we currently have. So we'll start with XRP, but first, make sure you join me on the Twitch. Live, 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if this promo doesn't make you watch, I don't know what will. It's always good to laugh, even though it's kind of true. Kind of sad. I do free tip. The golden night is 7.30 to 8.30. And to teach us at the time, nobody comes. I'm so sad. Make it 20, 25 people. So sad. Episode 201 tonight. Don't watch my technical analysis, please. And that gives you the gist of it. Free technical analysis every night, eight or 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. We've gotten over 100 people in there, so it's not always, but usually about 25 people on average. One shy of 500 followers on Twitch now, and this will be episode 202. So with XRP, and in my next update, I want to get back to a little more in-depth information about Ripple as well. But we're going to stay on top of it in this update and also do a little bit of gold-silver, so I can't do both. Otherwise, I'll lose your guys' uh, focus. So with XRP, it's still this continuation. We're still within an inverted head and shoulders pattern until we can break down and absolve ourselves of this 3186, which would mean we prove that this is a heavy resistance. We keep coming through it. But 3326 is at, um, acting as the area resistance right now, which it would make sense. We had about 14 attempts here that couldn't break down in the short time frame. And then more on this side as well, which created a head and shoulder style pattern. So I know there's an inverted head and shoulders as well. But you can also look at this and be like, okay, maybe we did create some kind of head and shoulders. It's just, do we do more like that? Or can we get out of the area here? Right now, that uptrending five and a half year support line that goes back to April 17th, 2017, is this blue line that we keep acting as a support resistance line right here. So far, we can't figure out what we're going to do. This is a heavy resistance at 33.26 and a strong support at 31.86 until we see otherwise. That's how you have to approach this area, and I'm going to keep it simple like that with XRP. The DXY is at 108 spot 724. It's come all the way back down to the uptrend, uptrend as we predicted. It just took a little longer, and we consolidated a little bit longer. So it might not have hit in the exact spot where we drew it down to, but it ended up playing a long consolidation out. So now this is still on what could be perceived as a bull flag, and the uptrend hit at 108 spot 40. Now we're stuck between the uptrend and this 109 spot 08, which is a heavy, or 109 spot 108, which is a heavy resistance that we've been using. And it gets a little dangerous because if we do break the uptrend, you could end up having a pattern that is technically a head and shoulders reversing, a topping reversal, or like a Bart Simpson top. So we don't want that to happen. We'd much rather this just kind of dick and then move us up to the next level. And then if it's going to create a head and shoulders, fine. But let's do it at 110 spot 441. And then that would get XRP down to about 28 cent area. Um, and then there's three things I want to see or look, show you guys. So the gold, the gold um, ounce 
has broke a very key level, and this is why I have to show you an update on it. We're in the falling channel, which is what it's been doing for a very long time. And here we can pull it up, make it look a little more straight. And then this, I'm not sure what happened here, but we can... You guys will see, we still... Eh, maybe it didn't fall through. It fell through the other one, but this is what we're looking at. So we have the resistance up here at 1764. We have underneath support at 1677, which was established. That was the targeted breakdown, and we hit it 100% perfectly. I know we haven't covered it since. Um, it just took a little bit longer to fall through. Then we came all the way back up to resistance. We've done this many times. So unless we break the uptrending resistance, which would give us a targeted move back up to almost 2200 if we break up, if we break down, we still have to come all the way to 1632. And if we were to break down, that's where it would get very interesting if this is some kind of topping pattern. It would get us back down in the consolidation zone. And the next uptrend, which I've shown this a lot with gold and silver, don't be surprised. Let me come back here. Because this always happens for some reason. Don't be surprised if something like this is actually playing out. Which, if you look at this from the uptrend, that comes all the way back to 1970. I mean, yeah, you could come back down here, and that would get you down to about 1,050. So it's not implausible that that could happen. Is it likely? That's to be determined. And a big factor would come if we break this uptrend that started 23 years ago, 22 years ago. This is the active uptrend that we're trying to break. So this could be the pattern that we're playing right now. And if we break up, this would come way up. I mean, way up. If we break down, the next logical target, unfortunately, would be like 1,037. But we'll measure it from up here. So we'll say 1,000. I mean, look at how far ahead that is, too. Now we'll say down here. We'll go right here, 1,050. And then you can see on a play up, we're looking at about 2,500. So... We're coming to a critical uptrending support line here. We must hold this at 1677 if we do fall back down. We've already hit it once, but we're going to have to hit it and hold it. Silver, beautiful rendition on silver. We're in this ascending triangle. It's played it out perfectly. Hit that resistance multiple times in the monthly. And that's the smaller time frame. And if we broke down, that's how we would know we were coming down to like $9.84. That would be on par with the $1,000 roughly ounce of gold. And then if we went to the, let me show you guys one more thing. I don't know why it came off tap. No, actually, you know what? That's good enough for me right now. It's good enough for me. So you have this. We'll say $9.89 support line way down there. Support in the area right now is still, well, I mean, it's not still because we broke through it just barely. But 1807 was a heavy support. And then if we break that support, and that's the targeted move, and we've fulfilled perfectly. Just another great call. Um, sixteen twenty-eight is the next support for silver. And then the gold-silver ratio. The gold-silver ratio is out of control. It's out of control. It's up to ninety-five to one, and what that means is for every ninety-five ounces of silver you buy, you only get one ounce of gold. They're basically giving you silver for free. When I first started buying silver, the ratio on average was about 60 to 65 to 1, roughly. I still find this interesting. If you throw that down or upturning resistance and you just play all the way through, that's basically been playing this. I don't know what the hell that was, what I was trying to show there. But in the monthly, that's where you get that pattern. That's why if we could break up out of here for once, um, we could have a parabolic spike. I mean, a parabolic spike. Oh, I know what I was doing. It just came off the center. So if you start following it up, if you break out of here, your next resistance would be all the way up at like 128 spot, 46 for the differential. So... Basically, right now, let's say we buy it for 95 to 1, and then it comes back to more traditional ranges at like 45 to 1, which is more normal. 63 to 1 back in 2020. 
Yeah, I'd say about there is about... That's a good low point for when I was buying it. Because we had it again back here, but it was about the same. So, that's a, that's a good standard right there. So, you figure 95 ounces right now to one. So, you have to buy 95 ounces of silver to get one ounce of gold. Imagine this comes back down to 50 to one. That means you can trade 50 ounces of silver for one ounce of gold. So, you might as well buy silver right now when it's 95 to one. Because when the differential closes, then you can trade that silver back and get gold for the silver you already own. It's genius. Mike Maloney, Robert Kiyosaki, Peter Schiff are ones who've taught me that. that that's a golden trick. So, XRP Future Millionaire, make sure you're paying attention to the gold-silver differential because it is a catastrophic event right now for silver and gold. How it's coming down, but the differential is catastrophic if you're buying gold. If you buy gold right now, you're getting ripped off. Even though the prices are coming down, the differential is so great, you must buy silver. If you want to buy XRP or trade like me, stay tuned to the next screen. So all you have to do is click my last video or any video up here. Click the bottom arrow, and then it'll bring you to this on the right-hand side. Or if you're on mobile, it'll be right below. You may like my video. Um, so join Tom's Army, $9.99 a month. You can pay it forward just by clicking on the link right there. And then if you want to join me on the number one copy trading platform in the world, BitGet, you can trade XRP with no VPN if you live in the USA. They also are accredited in 50 different countries. They have a $200 million security fund just in case things go down so that your crypto would not be affected in a case of a bankruptcy or whatever. And also they're a trading platform and not a lending platform. So... There is no staking and anything like that. They're not loaning you out money. So it's very safe. I trust it. And if you want to copy trade like me, join me on BitGet. Click that partner link and go to the copy trading section and type in XRP Future Millionaire.